Good afternoon and welcome to Spotlight on Business. I'm J. Michael McCoy for the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce. We are uniquely Urbandale. Janice Wissenand is here today as the uh, uh, marketing director and new membership director, right? Yep, membership. And if you don't think a membership in the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce would benefit you, give Janice 20 minutes. Can you do it in 20 minutes? Absolutely. All right, give her 20 minutes. Not 30, not 60, not, you know... Just give her an opportunity to come in and tell you the advantages. And by the way, you don't have to be brick and mortar in Urbandale. I'm a member of the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce. I don't even have a brick and mortar facility. Well, I guess kind of now we do with the state uh, studios right. coming into Urbandale. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're so excited to have you. Yeah. You can come up and just be on the radio anytime you want. Excellent. Um, and uh, they also have uh, something we'll talk about a little bit later on Tuesday mornings when you get a chance to meet the different members. All right. I want to introduce you to Michael Novak. Uh, Michael is a farmer's insurance agent. At 2650 100 Street in Urbandale, Iowa. Michael, welcome to the program today. Thank you, Mac. So why farmers? Uh, well, candidly, it runs in the family. My okay. father owns a farmer's agency in Des Moines on okay. 63rd Street. Okay. And he's been very successful at it. And I'm a pretty lazy person. And I thought, <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to copy everything he does. Be successful as well and go from there. There you go. That sounds like a pretty good business plan. I Sounds good on paper. I like that. Uh, and I've, I've recognized before on this show that I am a big fan of farmer's insurance, been a, a farmer's insurance guy for 21 years. I'm the perfect customer because I don't shop. We love customers like you. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I, I am a farmer's guy because my agent is Jerry Jenkins, mm -hmm. and he, like you, treats me just wonderful. I got a birthday card from him this year. I didn't get a birthday card from my mom and dad, <laughs> but I got a birthday card from my farmer's agent. So um, it's awesome. You work for a, a wonderful company. Well, I'll tell you what, that is, that's the big reason why I chose Farmers. Yeah. Because I've, I have an insurance background, um, primarily commercial insurance. And the setup with Farmers, they're so geared, truly family friendly. They believe in the agency staying within a family. And they set themselves up so that it just works. I yeah. mean, we have so many customers like you that they don't shop us. Simply yeah. because we serve our clients well. We don't annoy them, but when they need something, we're there. Yeah, yeah. I use you guys consistently. My car will break down or something will happen, and I know that I call one number, I walk away from my car, and yep. it gets taken to my repair shop. Absolutely. And uh, I happen to be right now in the middle of a claim, and it was wonderful this morning. Talked to Troy from Michigan, and we got everything figured out, and, and that's what it ought to be about. Yes. That's what it ought to be about. And by the way, just for... I, I'm sorry. I'm kind of doing your job. Hey, here. no, plug away. You know, when you see these companies advertise with these cute little geckos or whatever they are, <laughs> that's terrible service. I'm just telling you. All right. You talk to anybody that's got that cheap insurance, they'll say, yeah, you'll pay for it. You'll pay for it big time when you need a claim, you need a rental car, you need something happening in your life, your house burns down, you something stolen. Uh, that's when you want to be, have a good insurance company, and Farmers is a good insurance company. All right, so let's talk about you. You're obviously from Des Moines. Yes, sir. Been what, here about 12 years. What are you passionate about? God, family, community in that order. Okay, good. And, uh, uh, well, that's great to hear. Yeah. Uh, I'm a Jesus freak myself, so we get along great. Good for you. Uh, what, what denomination do you worship at? Uh, Evangelical Free Church in Johnston. Oh, great church. Yep, it is. Yeah, oh, that is a Rapidly good growing church. Yeah, big time. Yep. Don't you, did you guys just start a satellite? Um, not yet. Yes. Or did I, maybe I'm saying something I'm not it, okay. It I'll, may or may not be in the works, Mac. I will keep my <laughs> mouth closed on that. Um, so uh, are you a reader? Uh, avid reader. And yep. what do you like to read? I'm pretty eclectic in my reading. Um, everything from historical fiction to business to uh, spiritual to okay. all over the place. And what's your favorite TV show of all time? Mm. You know, the Andy Griffith show? Yeah. You can't go wrong. <laughs> and not to mention, I got called Opie a lot as a kid. Cause Did I, you really? I, oh, I had red hair. To, well, you still have red hair. It's getting a little blonde and then a little white. And... Yeah, well, don't, don't talk to me about white hair. I don't know about that. <laughs> and if you could spend an hour with anybody living or dead, who would it be? I believe it would be my grandfather on my mom's side. I've just been told I've uh, 
resembled him a lot in personality. Yeah. So I'd be curious to see what that actually looks like. That's awesome. Thank you for being here today. God bless. Thank you, man. Appreciate, Appreciate you being it very here. much. Janice, no, I, I want to go back to okay. Michael here. You're the co-host. You okay. do whatever you want. Okay, I want to go back to you right, for right. a minute. I hear that there's a new family edition. There is. There is. Tell me about this. I uh, I have a 10-week-old son tomorrow, and I also have a 16-year-old son, a 12-year-old son, and a 7-year-old daughter. So I have every wow. every phase of drama that you can possibly imagine. Drama would be the right word. Yes. 16-week-old son. No, 10-week-old son. 10-week-old son. And what's 16, his name? His name is Henry. And what's your older son's name? Keegan. And the next one? Jaden. And, and the girl? Juliet. She's got to just love life with three brothers. She does, most of the time. Most of the time. Do they, they don't pick on her, do they? Um, they can make a hobby of it. Can yes. they? Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, one, one more thing. So you talked about your father. Yes. So he's really that mentor in your life. Is that correct? He is probably the most influential mentor in my life. Absolutely. Uh, right. He. um he has run multiple successful businesses, and he's the guy that he will claim to not be a very good salesperson, not be the smartest guy in the room, but he works as hard as he possibly can. And so I figure if I can learn from that, then that's a good deal. So you recently have opened your business. Tell me a little bit about how all that came to grow. It was, um, it was very fast. It was very fast. An opportunity came up with farmers to where I could uh, take over an agency. And so I moved quickly on it because I'd been talking to farmers for a couple of years. And I was just kind of waiting for the right opportunity. And this opened up and we, uh, we opened February 2nd and have been our first month out of the box. We were fifth in our district out of 27 agencies. So we're pretty proud of that. Well, we appreciated you coming and seeing the chamber. It was before the first of the year. Yes. And so we're glad that you're part of our team now, and you're just down the street from us also. Absolutely. So what made you join, uh, or what, 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 what was appealing to you so that you joined the Urbandale Chamber? It's kind of interesting. My, uh, my grandfather owned a pharmacy and was very, very involved way back in the day in Chamber of Commerce. Okay. And as a child, I remember him always talking about Chamber meetings and involved in this and involved in that. And so it seemed natural for me to join the Chamber. I didn't know why. Now, after Janice bought me coffee and we talked for 45 minutes, um, so I'm sorry to blow the 20-minute interview deal. <laughs> um, <That's> all right. <laughs> uh, I realized that the Urbandale Chamber has so many opportunities if if you really want to participate you can yeah. make a full-time job out of it yeah yeah so there's yeah. something every day that's awesome that's awesome did we get all the questions answered we did thank all right you. don't forget tuesday mornings nine o'clock meet the chamber at the chamber office the old artist furniture on 100th street for the urbandale chamber of commerce i'm j michael mccoy remember we are uniquely urbandale